Will, good morning. How are you? Hey, Dan. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to you, Will. Uh, I wait. mean, belated, belated. It's not today, but it was Sunday. Oh, all right. Well, thank yeah. you. I appreciate that. What, what did your kids do for you? Uh, what did they do? You know, this was the first year that there was actually some recognition <laughs> that it was Father's Day. Yeah. And uh, they they actually they provided me with presents. I got a uh, wow. some very strange orange plastic barbecue gloves. Um, because I'm a master at the grill. Really? Not really. I didn't think so. Uh, I got a uh, a headlamp, you know, like for camping, <laughs> but we don't really camp. <laughs> And then I got a, a designer pair of reading glasses. So it was a very eclectic uh, batch of gifts. They really love you. <laughs> <laughs> they adore me. They adore me. Uh, are your yeah. kids Laker fans? You know, they are. Um, I think they would say they're Laker fans. They're, they're, I think they're somewhat disinterested right now um, because – we're not good right now, uh, and but they're not on the Golden State bandwagon like every other kid at their school. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's good though. In. But that's good. That, that that's good. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. When's the last time you took your kids to a movie? Not your movie. Last time uh, would have been. Uh, I think in the school year, we, we left, we did a, a treat, and we left early on a Friday and went and saw, like, the opening day of uh, of a, um, gosh, what was the movie? I think it was an animated movie. Hmm. And yeah. you can go to the theater, though. You, you don't do like Elvis did, where he'd rent out the entire theater. You don't do that. Oh, no, I still do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I do it just to uh, just to show them that I can. Yeah. You, you're not even going to watch the movie. You just rent out the entire well, movie theater. And the people at the movie theater say, "Mr. Farrell, you don't have to do this. It's 11 a.m. We're 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 not really seats. It's still available. We're not. We're, we're wide open. You really don't. We don't want to take your money. I'm like, trust me. This is just the right way to do it. Is there so, a more famous dad in the neighborhood than you? I don't. <laughs> think so. I'm trying to think <laughs> who's in the neighborhood. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anyone remotely connected to the entertainment business. How's in that possible? Um, well, I had John C. Riley over at the house the other day, and uh, he revealed that uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. It, it, he wait. He lives revealed why. Oh, he lives, lives close by. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He's like, hey, Joaquin's just over, just down the road. I'm like, oh, okay. So, I guess I'm more famous. Am I more? Fa I don't know. I don't. I don't want to say I'm more famous than anyone. Dan, you're putting words in my mouth. You're more famous than Joaquin Phoenix. All right. Well. And do you call John C. Riley John C. Riley? I yeah. I always go full, <laughs> <laughs> or I'll go JCR. Oh, okay, I I I, I, I also call him the River Dog. The River Dog. Yeah, I watched Step Brothers the other night, man. I, when I I emailed you, you sent me a message. I, I really did. Appreciated it. I I yeah. just that uh, that Moby Dick John Bonham <laughs> when you're on on the drum kit is. It's a it's a good little line. Oh God. But did you know that that, like, because there's so many great lines in there. What was the one scene where you went, you know what, this is going to kill? I don't know if we really had that feeling. We, I mean, we were definitely having as much fun as you possibly could have uh, shooting that movie. And, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the last uh, movies I can think of where we were actually shooting on film before because everything's digital now. So the, so the studio was giving us a hard time because we – I think we shot a million and a half <laughs> feet of film uh, just with all the improvising. And uh, so I don't, I, I don't know if uh, I, I, we did have a sense that j the Catalina wine mixer, the fact that we were making such a big deal about something so stupid was, was hopefully going to land with people. And uh, is the goal to crack each other up? Uh, 
Pretty much. Yep. But you can't yep. crack up on screen because then no, you, you can't. You but, can't. You got to. You got to. You get it out of your system, and then you've you've learned to kind of uh, rein it in for enough times to actually get a, a competent take. But but when you're cracking each other up, there's there's no better feeling. And that's there's not a sequel to Step Brothers, right? Or there is there is talk? Not. There is not. Okay. There, there is not. You're not a sequel guy. Here's here's a uh, here's a bit of trivia uh, though for you, Dan. Okay. Guess who was cut out of the Catalina wine mixer as a as a cameo? Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> I wish. Uh, you'll never guess. Craig it was a Kilborn. Someone in the sports world. Uh, one of your co- cohorts on Monday Night Foot on Sunday Night Football. Al NBC. Michaels. Nope. Close. Chris, Chris Collinsworth? Chris Collinsworth. Adam McKay told me, he was, I have a surprise cameo for you today. <laughs> what? That <laughs> is a Chris surprise. Chris Collinsworth. <laughs> Why Chris Collinsworth? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> but And Chris was willing to do it, but he didn't make the final cut. We're talking to Will Farrell. He's an actor and a comedian, and he uh, has a, a new movie with Amy Poehler called The House. <laughs> Are you more of an actor or comedian? I'm a. I call myself a comedic actor. <laughs> of course you do. Right? Uh, yeah, and rightfully so. It hits theaters Which, next Friday, June thirtieth. It, it uh, lets you know that comedy is my goal, but <laughs> but I, it gives you hope that maybe I'm an actor. Uh, Daniel Day Lewis retired, by the way. He did. I know. Could you see just going out at at age sixty and then not acting anymore? Like two or three years from now, when you turn sixty, could you just walk away? Well, here's the thing. I've gotten four messages from Daniel Day-Lewis just today, and I have a feeling he's trying to coax me into opening up a, a shoe cobbler <laughs> shop with him, reopening the, the cobbler shop. He's got a place uh, at Westfield Shopping Town. <laughs> of course he does. Why? And you know what? You could have peach cobbler and apple cobbler, <laughs> and you could have a cobbler in there. Yeah. Right, and, and and we could cobble shoes all together. Yes, it, I love that. Set up a whole chain. Is this you your... want to be an angel investor? No, in no, no, oh. not yet, not yet. You sure, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the IPO. Open invite. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, when did you first work with Amy Poehler? Was that Saturday Night Live? That was Saturday Night Live. We uh, we only overlapped one year on the show. My last year. Um, I specifically left that year because of Amy. <laughs> uh, I, uh, yeah, we only we only worked one that one season, and uh, and we were getting towards the end of the year, and realized we'd never sat down and, and written a sketch together. So we wrote. There's one sketch that Amy and I have written together uh, that I'm sure is somewhere on the internet where we play the worst background actors in a movie. We're terrible extras who keep looking into the camera and uh, are completely unnatural. Uh, and it was a really funny sketch, actually. Uh, but that was the only time we, we really worked. And then we did, uh, we did Blades of Glory together, um, the seminal <laughs> ice skating comedy of its time, I think, or ever. It's one of the top five ice skating ice comedies, comedies of yes. all time. Of I all time. So. Of all time. Yes. You can say that with confidence. Yes, I can. Uh, yes, I can. But we weren't really in too many scenes together. Uh, and so this was the first time we actually have gotten to uh, to, to work hand in hand, which was great. And uh, you lost your college fund. So you're Scott and she's Kate. And you have to figure yeah. out a way to earn. Can you pick your name? Like Who, who says you have to be Scott? I think we, we kick around a bunch of names. And Scott Johansson seemed like a good <laughs> suburban white guy name <laughs> Kate and Scott Johansson's you know the Johansson's like Ted is a good one Ted's a good one Guy Doug Doug <laughs> yep. yep you could do Todd with one Glenn. D Glenn. <laughs> Glenn Glenn two N's <laughs> Glenn two N's is always good Todd one D are you going Todd. on vacation I'm going on, yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to hit Sweden like we always do. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, uh, we got to get you to go to Ireland with us. If we, if we go to the Guinness 
I told you guys. I know, but I just yeah. want to make sure. You're too busy. You just got done doing a Wahlberg just, movie. I mean, you're just too... Just give me enough lead time and How I'll... much lead time? Uh, a year? <laughs> no, I, I can... Three months? Three months lead time. Six months lead time. Six, six months? Six months. Okay. How about we just say next April, book it, we're going to Ireland, Guinness. Great. Okay. But is that great that we're, are you that we're gonna, doing it? Am I going to show up in Dublin? You guys are going to go, April Fools. Oh. And you'll be in your cozy studio. No, no, we'll do it. We'll do it. Um, April. Okay. All right. I'll, do, you, do you have I'll, a movie? Do you have a travel agent? Can I use your travel agent? Yeah, I'll book your flight for you. Okay. Yeah, I got uh, I got hotels.com. I got miles on Southwest. I like, that's going to help you. <laughs> they they may be they, going to Dublin in a different route. It, it, it's going to take you a long it's time. Twenty connections. Yes. Twenty connections. Uh, the movie. Yeah. He's actor comedian Will Ferrell, uh, Amy Poehler in The House, which hits theaters next Friday, June thirtieth. I know that you have to go because I'm being told so. So I'll let I'm on you. A tight schedule, I know. Tight press. I'll schedule. let you go. Thanks, Will. I'm, all right. That, All right, Dan. Okay. That's Will Farrell, actor, comedian. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.